I'm Judy and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a front double hammock. There are a lot of videos out there that have the front double hammock already pre-tied. I cannot pre-tie a front double hammock. I always end up getting all curmuzzled and then I'm in a big tangle of mess. It just doesn't work for me. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I do sort of a half pre-tie, I guess. Um, front double hammock, if you've not tried it, it's a great carry if you're going to be wearing your baby for a long time. It is sort of a fiddly carry if you're not going to pre-tie. Um, it does take a little bit of time and you have to go very carefully and make sure you get everything really tightened. But once you do, uh, it's a really great carry, lots of support, and you can wear your baby for quite a long time without any uh, problems or pressure points. So let's get started. Okay, you need to find the center of your wrap. And that is going to go right at the center of your back. Oops, here. Goes right in the middle of your back here. Bring one tail and just hold it here between your knees. And the other one, making sure you don't cross your rails, you're going to put it over your shoulder and bring it around your back, again making sure not to get your tails all mixed up. And then you're just going to hold it here between your knees and this is where you're going to put your baby. So now, time to grab the baby. <clears throat> okay, so put the baby over your shoulder, reach underneath, hold on to there legs and bottom with one hand. With the other hand, pull the wrap up as you gently lower the baby down. And you get the baby seated. I didn't leave quite enough. Sometimes um, if you get this too tight, you don't have enough space here to put your baby in. Just loosen up here in the front and that'll give you a little more space. So I'm going to go ahead and get a good seat. Tuck the wrap up under his bottom. And then I'm ready to go ahead and do my shoulder flip. So I can now remove this from between my knees. I'm going to reach underneath to the inside rail. And I like to bunch it all up neatly. And then I take that whole bunch up thing and I toss it over my shoulder. And now you're ready to do the other side. So now you take the other piece from between your legs. And you're going to find the top rail. And I like to pull it up. See how that pulls it up so it's nice and high across my back? And I also want to pull it snug. So I'm holding that snug. I pull that across. And I'm going to keep holding that snug with this other hand. And I reach over here and I'm going to pull the bottom rail. And I'm going to pull that snug across. Once I get that nice and snug, I'm going to take that and tuck it up underneath his good seat. And now again, I'm ready to do my shoulder flip. Um, you can either bunch it up like this. That's one way to do the shoulder flip and go straight like that. Some people like to just hold on to the whole wrap and flip it this way. Um, either way is fine. I just prefer to bunch it up usually because I think it gives a neater finish. So now I have all this extra slack here. That's what we're, we're going to need to work out. Okay, <clears throat> so you reach behind you and grab the inside rail pull it across, then I'm going to lay it across my forearm and now I'm going to grab the bottom rail. So here the bottom rail corresponds to the top. So I'm going to pull that, see how this is tightening up? I sometimes like to reach under here too and make sure everything is pulled out nicely. So now I just go through and tighten each section. Now this side's tight, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Find the inside rail, pull it across, lay it across my forearm so I can grab onto that bottom rail. I'm going to tighten that up, and here this side's kind of a mess, so I'm going to just reach under and help it along a little bit. Just make sure it's spread out a little bit better, get it off of my neck. And now I can go ahead and tighten through each section. Once it's good and tight, I take both pieces, hold them out to the side, give another good tug, make sure I'm nice and tight. And then I go ahead oops, and tie a knot under his bottom. Now, depending how long of a wrap you have, if your wrap is longer, you can certainly cross under um, the bottom and then tie in the back. It just depends uh, what you'd like to do. And then from here, you can just do some fine-tune adjusting, making sure that everything is spread out nicely across your back, making sure that these passes are tight. This outer pass sometimes tends to be loose, so if I follow this around back here, you can see that it's kind of bunched up here. I just lift it up. And now I have some slack here. I can work that out. I just follow around and I pull through here. 
on the outside of my shoulder and I find the corresponding spot. See how I pull that it tightens? I'll show you from here. So I'm pulling this section here and I'll just pull that nice and tight. And just keep following that all the way around. And then I'll undo my knot. Get that pulled tight. And then retie it. And you are ready to go. So there you have a front double hammock, sort of pre-tied, um, with the built-in shoulder flip. Alright, thanks a lot.